Now in Raytrex clutches, leap as the tank and take it to monster by Imperial soldiers. Once castle monster by Leonster's vassal and trust ally, now it was governed by the conqueror, conquerors of North Raysia. House Freed, who had been installed as rulers by the Granville Empire. Raytrex himself had once been a general of the Kingdom of Connaught, a clue of the Empire during the war. For that service, he was made Baron of Monster, while still support the, uh, to Lord Bloom, head of House Freed. Raytrex was entrusted with the day-to-day -day management of Monster. Leaf would now see first how what kind of sort of affairs the man was up to. Welcome back to more Fraser 776. So last time we took on chapter 3. Went pretty good. Until, yeah, we were captured by Batman over there. And now we're trapped in Munster. Hopefully we can find a way out. <laughs> Without a doubt, this feat will secure my position at Munster Beyond. Dolson, see that the brat doesn't do so much as, doesn't so much as blink before the Knights of Kamort come to claim him. Aye, sir. It's high time to celebrate with a visit to the arena. You, woman, you'll be accompanying me. Why me? I assume you'd want to see the other girls. Or if you wish to spit on my generosity. Other girls? Me, Marita, and Nana? I believe those are their names, yes. Never fear, I haven't laid a finger on them. I will keep them quite comfortable. Are you really gonna let me see them? You have my word. Fine, lead the way. Ah, uh, old fashioned, lead the way for such a fine lady. <laughs> yeah, he's a scumbag, alright. But, we do have some allies. This is it. This is it. As I'm looking at the children, but I want to, the rest of you to go down to the prison and free everyone left up there. Right, you're in charge. Yes, sir. Once to release those poor souls from a rendezvous with you. God's willing. All of you to get fortune be with you. I count you, Lara. Think you can handle this? Aha, uh -huh. no lock is gonna stand my way. Just watch my back, okay? You know, someone to get past us. You could grab the weapons, no problem. Well, <laughs> not that too heavy. Well, unfortunately, most of them are too heavy, so yeah. Not that too heavy, I can't. They'd be glad me and Brian are here, eh? Come on, let's go. Alright, so yeah, how this map works. So yeah, we only got Leaf and Lithus from our old squad. And yeah, they're chilling in prison without any weapons. And that's what these chests are for. Twelve of these are gonna be our inventory from the last half of these two. And then four items are new, which we'll see later. We also got some other prisoners, Fergus and Karen, but we can't really use them yet, so we'll talk about them yet. Instead, we'll talk about the units we can use. Brighton, Marcha, and Lara. We'll start with Brighton. So, I guess, yeah, before that, yeah, this app is, yeah, a little bit complex. Me and free everyone, we need to get these chests out, but also we have these civilians here. If they escape, all of them escape, we get to go to Forex, the next guy on the map. They are. And yeah, nothing about this act too, there's like endless amounts of reinforcements, so we'll talk about those later, I think. Anyway, now we'll talk about the units, I think. Let's start with Brighton. So Brighton's an interesting fellow, right? He's alright at this point. Decent stats. You know, they do don't look the best. Um He can use some swords. Mainly steel swords, for example. You might want to give him the short sword, though. And yeah, of course, what makes him kind of stand out is the fact that, yeah, he has Wrath, a very good personal skill, and his con's not bad, so he could try to capture, but yeah, it's generally advised not to capture unless the enemy is severely weakened, so yeah. You're mainly going off the kills more than anything, although, yeah, capturing one of these dudes with their short ones is not a terrible idea, so yeah. Just to yeah, only do it if yeah the enemies are severely weakened because yeah Brian's accuracy is not that so especially when he's capturing say there's that but anyway the thing about Brian though is that yeah he's actually an axe type but he's dismounted that's why he uses swords that's something they didn't really point out before but yeah um 
The thing about Axe Knights and Lance Knights is that, yeah, they actually have to use swords. And like this one, they can't use the primary weapon. That is definitely one disadvantage of their classes, but outside of that, they're not too bad. And yeah, Brian's not too bad either. His gross on amazing is one thing. He has 10 HP, 30 strength by magic, 25 skill, 30 speed, 15 light, 35 defense, 20 con, and 1 movement. His primary gains aren't too bad actually. Getting some decent boosts and clean plus some movement is very nice, and he also get a whole axe strength too. So I think I'll have no problem having a good axe strength once he starts going outdoors. And yeah, that's kind of the thing. If he grows, you can keep using him, but yeah. If not, it's okay. He just does what he needs to in Manster, being a very solid unit. Where we really don't have, mu have much choice when it comes to what units we use. So yeah, he gets the job done, and he's supported by Marcher. So that's obviously good to remember. So yeah, Marcher, or Makwa as she's sometimes called. We'll talk about her in a bit, but yeah, I think that's pretty much everything about Brian. Again, yeah, you want him in Manster because again, you don't really have much else. Watch the match I suppose says that too, which is really cool. And then yeah, make use of his support with Marcher to boost them. That's obviously very good. And then yeah, that's mainly what we have to say with him. And again, yeah, you might want to change the short you might want to trade the short sword that Marcher has to him. If you want to be a bit more accurate, but anyway. Yeah, let's talk about March. Now, March is a kind of fascinating unit. She's not amazing. She's a very basic Myrmidon. Has decent stats, lots of skill and speed. So, yeah, we can think about me boosting her strength with scrolls, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Brian, I guess I could mention too. Yours is a PC1. March's PC is actually pretty decent, having three. So, that's good. Um, although, yeah, she doesn't have that many supports. She only supports Brighton, so yeah. She gets another support, but that's way later in the game, so yeah. Anyway. So yeah, she kind of does alright. Like, yeah, I guess you could look at her growth rates. 60 HP, 30 strength, 10 magic, 55 skill, 60 speed, 35 blood, 25 defense, 10 con, 2 movement. She is about what you expect. Um, lots of skill and speed, not much anything else. A little bit low on the bulk, although it's not terrible. You can have to get bulky, especially with the right scrolls. And yeah, PCR 3 is decent, especially if you do get a lot of skill on her and also give her a high grip weapon. Montage is also not too bad either, although yeah, I wouldn't say she's the best unit with that. A con isn't like the best. So the brave weapons aren't the best with that, but she can definitely make them work if you train her good enough. But of course, I think the main thing that makes her stand out is her promotion. So, she is the only female Myrmidon that becomes a hero, so she actually gets Axe access. She is the second axe unit, a female Axe in the series behind Laxus' Mass Knight class, so yeah, that's pretty cool. It's only E rank, but they do boost the power, she has a good skill stat, and yeah, once she gets the D rank, she can use the Brave Axe, so it's a fun promotion. I wouldn't say it's like very good. I think the thing about March is we don't really need too many combat units after the Master Escape, I feel like. Or Monster Escape, I should be saying. So yeah, again. You can't use it because she's fun. And yeah, no problem with that. I think I did that before. And yeah, she is a decently fun unit. You know. Once you do give her um, enough attention, I guess. Just that, yeah. Outdoor maps, yeah, you might be more interested in your cab units because of course they can zip around the map. They have an easy time capturing. In the map, she can do decent on. Like, well, love the Monster Escape, actually. Anyway, now we talked about that, let's talk about Lara, our last unit. So yeah, Lara is an interesting feat. Her stats, yeah, <laughs> if Limbus is bad at combat, then yeah, Lara is even worse, because yeah, absolutely terrible bulk. Probably the lowest bulk you'll see on any unit, with 14 HP and no defenses, so yeah. All she really has is speed, which is good for stealing, but another problem is that Con is really bad, and it doesn't really grow either, so yeah. So, yeah, that's a uh, thing. <laughs> so, yeah, she is built for combat. Basically, all she does is, yeah, open doors and just, and that's basically it. You know, it's just standard V stuff. And, yeah, stealing's not great because of a low con, but at least she can steal door keys and ordinary, so it's not the worst thing in the world. But anyway, of course, the thing about her is that, yeah, she promotes into something else. 
But yeah, we'll worry about that later. For now though, Lara's just, you know, basic thief and she's gonna be very useful because of that. And yeah, another thing too about her too is the fact that yeah, she can be used for capture baiting. You can trade away all the weapons to someone else. Enemies will capture her and then yeah. The cool thing about capture bait is that um yeah, it kind of <laughs> it doesn't count as like combat AI. So if you're trying to bait a group of units, they'll catch you, but they won't make everyone else move. So that could be a great way of luring in enemies one by one. So yeah. It's not something I personally use that much because I'm not that skilled at it. I'm also worried about iron management sometimes too, so yeah. But again, it is something worth remembering. It's actually if you bird the game that I am, so anyway. See so that's most of what I gotta say about Laura. You can never make her into a decent thief, but yeah, there isn't really a need to. Just, you know, focus on opening chests and, you know, stealing stuff. That's basically all you need to do with her. Anyway, we'll go over the stats now. Or the gross, I mean. 45 HP, 10 strength, 10 magic, 50 skill, 70 speed, 60 luck, 20 defense, 5 con, 3 movement. Pretty basic stuff, so yeah. Again, not definitely not full of combat this unit, that's a thing, she'll so don't even think about it. And what she can do though is, yeah, she can go here. And open that, I think. I think that's what you want to do. And then, yeah, we want to... I believe, rescue. With um, Brian here. And then... Marcia, she actually wants to trade a few things around. This is actually a good opportunity to show Fraser trade. So I'm going to take the short sword, the steel sword, and then I'm also going to trade with Lara. I'm going to take a silver sword. Because again, she's never going to be buying anything anyway, so it's fine. But I think I need to do this the other way around, but this will work. Actually, maybe not, because uh, <laughs> I guess we're going to be showing that she's going to get captured, because you're. Uh, uh, maybe I should restart this. <laughs> I know there's a play here they can do with the door, but yeah, I'm completely messed up. So you know what? I'm just gonna restart this. All right, back at it. So yeah, again, let's go here. I just want to see. So yeah, so can go here, and then yeah, I think yeah, it's probably um yeah, Marcha is the one who takes um or is it? Yeah, see, I can rescue here, and then your yeah, marcher can go one space down. Okay, see, so yeah, that's all of you. So yeah, you'll go here, and then yeah, we can once again do that trade. Once again, let's take the steel sword. We'll give him the short sword, and then yeah, another thing about I did mention free trade. How it works is that yeah, you can basically trade as much as you want in a turn. Normally in other farm games, you only can trade with one person at a time per turn. In this game though, yeah, it's kind of unlimited. So yeah. I'll make sure that yeah, we have the correct weapons equipped. I believe, yeah, you can make someone equip a weapon by yeah, putting it at the top of the inventory. And then, yeah, that means that I want you to equip the steel sword, actually. Because, yeah, she might be able to kill the soldiers with that. And then, yeah, we drop Lara here. Now she's safe. So there you go. Can't really move anyone else, but what we can do is, yeah, we can get them near the doors. Uh, that was pretty useless, but that's okay. Uh, leave. I'm not so sure. I think I'll have, yeah, Karen and Fergus closer to the door, I think. Uh, you know, this could still work. Alright, let's end the turn now. Let's see what happens. There's gonna be some dialogue, I think. Damn it. Ah, uh, Lady Luck is so fickle. Hey, hold on. You're that lift this spell, ain't ya? When you're boss of a whole crew of pirates or something? On the Corsair Isles, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, but... Thought so. Ha, <laughs> you look like just... You look like you look just like the guy in all the what posters. Hey, isn't that something? Guess I'm famous. Maybe I can make use of these idiots. What did I say? Something wrong? You got this look on your face. Truth be told, I'm fixed to bust my way out of here. What? You could pull you could pull something like that off? Think about it. Think about it, genius. Once my crew knows I'm what the what do you think they'll do? Not what up and ask dice of the Empire let me go, that's for sure. In fact, I'll bet my boys are scoping this place out right now. Since I'll be saying goodbye to the rest of you before long, let's make nice for now, eh? Really? Then you, then you gotta take me with you, boss. Mm, well, if you can pull your away, I'll think about it. 
You be that boss, leave it to me. Ain't no soldier gonna stand in our way, that's for sure. Lippers say, sir. If then all that's true, let, then let me come along too. Me free. Heh, <laughs> play, play like a fit, all three of them. After we bust out, I have a whole new opportunity in my hands. See, he's made friends with the brigands. That'll be important in a bit. And now we're gonna be fighting. So, yeah, once again, Brian does have Wrath. I just see that. And yeah, he actually does one round thing. Start with a short sword. So, there you go. If he does miss, it could be a capture opportunity, too. So, that's interesting. Anyway, what we want to do now is I think we'll get. We'll bust the this out. Huh? Huh? Folk. Folk are getting real lively all of a sudden. Swore so, so you in book it. And you are? Fergus, the cell sword at your service. And I'm this close to being done with Trudrol, let me tell you. Saw a bunch of soldiers making trouble for a young lass, so I stepped in. Got arrested for, for the effort. Terribly sorry, really. Terrible story, really. Oh, please. He didn't just try to stop them. He beat one of them half to death. And that's the terrible story here. Wait just a darn minute. You, you were the one who started it. Yeah, and they arrested me because they thought I helped you nearly kill that guy. This is on you, not me, so what are you going to do about it? I'm going to take a nap, that's what. Hey, you got to learn to take the good with the bad, you know? Just wait, just wake me when it's mealtime. Ugh, I don't even care anymore. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm Karen, by the way. Karen? That's a usual name for a Thracian. That's because I'm not Thracian, I'm from Celeste. I just got into town when I got into trouble thanks to this dimwit. Celeste, that's far north of here, memory says. I come all the way here from Celeste. Our prince up and left the country, that's why. The queen passed away and the princess is too young to take the throne, so people don't know who to turn to. I came here to look for our little runaway prince. I heard that the king of Celeste had been overthrown by the empire. How's, how is it the royal family is still alive? The rebels have been keeping them safe. Everyone's still willing to fight has gathered in the city of Tofa, but they've rallied around the royal family. Me, I'm going to become a Pegasus Knight and lend them my lands. Impressive, if you become a Pegasus Knight, you'll be able to dance through the skies. Well, I can fly already, but I won't be doing aerial acrobats like a knight anytime soon. Still, my Pegasus Knight can already understand each other really well. His name's Hermes, and he's just the cutest thing you ever saw with a brain to match. He's probably the one dancing through the skies right now, looking for me, that is. So I had the princely Celeste in the first place. It's a long story, the prince wanted to go look for the king, but the king's something of a flake himself. He also left Celeste years ago, abandoning his kingdom and family both. Everybody feels betrayed, and nobody expects the king to come back anymore. So our prince said to come back instead and take the throne. I was sent here to find him, but ended up jailed because of this bunhead. What about one? Is it meal time already? Oh, I guess not. Can't you keep it down until then at least? This is a prison for crying out loud. It's not like anyone can escape all your yammering. And it's not like anyone can escape your loud snoring either. Honestly, how can you sleep at a time like this? You're the most boorish and sensitive. Hey, keep it down, you twits. See? <laughs> See even the Empire Crispy. <laughs> What's what's he, you lad? You look awful upset. Might as well speak in my day. Not like it could do any harm now. You're right. In fact, maybe you two can even help me. So yeah, I can't really do anything about them right now, but yeah. They exist. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is yeah, let's unlock this and get the lipids help. Boss, boss, the door's up and it happened just like he said it would. What's the matter? Your crew came for you. Don't don't that perk you up. Layla really is fickle. Someone, somebody actually did come. Well, let it never be said that lying for your teeth doesn't work. So, yeah. Now, yeah, probably what we should do here is, yeah, we could go for a capture bait here, actually. Because, yeah, what Lippus can do is, yeah, he can trade the lockpick so they don't take the lockpick, and yeah, then, yeah, but yeah, this could work out quite well. We'll go in here. Get the scroll actually. That's definitely a good thing to get first. And yeah, they should go after Lara. And after that, yeah, we can have some fun with that. In fact, maybe we go for the catch. -up. But if not, yeah, we'll just go for the kill. That's what we'll do. So yeah. 
Because, yeah, he could also just strap die. I guess we'll see. Because, yeah, those green brigands are going to be helping us out. <laughs> hey, you alright with that old lady? Hey, you forget about me. I don't have much time left on this earth anyhow. It's my grandchildren I'm worried about. <coughs> hey, hey, don't overdo it, lady. Look, just lie down, alright? Jeez, the Empire even locks up sickle grandmas now? Looks like how long are they going to get to throw the weight around doing whatever they please? You reckon the Magi folk have a chance of taking the Empire down? I don't know, maybe, I mean, they got to have a chance, right? And if they've got a chance, they got to believe in them. The leader, Sir Seth, they call him the Hero of the Wind. Yeah, and he's earned that name. For, for he showed up, the Magi have been all but wiped out by the Empire. Then he showed up and just look at how the Magi do now. The Empire keeps trying to grab hold of them, but they just keep looking up. More luck, maybe. That's why Sir Seth's a man worth believing in. Can't go wrong in a fell like that. So there's some more stuff. Anyway, this is what I was talking about. So yeah, these guys are going to help us out. With the Duke Catcher, they actually might do pretty decently. Or with Lara Catcher, to be saying. As you see there, and yeah, you might just kill him. So yeah, actually no. So you might be able to get a Catcher going on there. There again. <laughs> if it doesn't work, it's fine. This guy's trapped anyway, so yeah. 83% chance? I think we could do it. Let's find out. And yeah, we get a nice crit too. So yeah, we get a short lance, that's awesome, because I want to give that short lance to Karen at some point. You only really need one. Two could be good, but yeah. So there you go, and yeah, we can take that. So... Lara, yeah, she only in a lot thick, but yeah, Lippers is already kind of using it, so yeah, this is what we'll do. So... March our course starts with Chesky, which is very useful, so yeah, we're going to make use of that to get another one. <laughs> I don't think you need that other Chesky, to be honest. I think that was kind of a bad play on my on my part taking it, but that's okay. So yeah, we'll have Laura unequipped because again, catch a bait. <laughs> it could actually be kind of useful, so yeah. What are any weapons for? Because then I don't have to worry about, you know, doing a lot of item management, so yeah. So with these guys, yeah, I think the brigands are going to go after them, so we shouldn't need to worry about them. A lot of them have vulnerabilities, so keep that in mind too. It's just that, yeah, with Lepus and Lara not having weapons, they will still need vulnerabilities back, so yeah, just keep that in mind. And worse if they get the lot picks, so yeah. So we do that, and... Okay, so... Yeah, Lara, what does she want to do? Yeah, she can maybe help out once again with the capturing effort. I'm not catching it, but uh, just <laughs> catch up bait. So these gotta come, but yeah, my brigand buddies are gonna help me out, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is a pretty involved chapter, to be honest, so yeah. That's why I do find it kind of fascinating, so yeah. And yeah, they can't go past the green, it's weak can though, so yeah. So there you go, yeah, they don't do a great job. They also somehow have weapons, even though, yeah, you think they they also get the weapons disarmed. Again, the stats aren't great, but hey, they are allies, so we'll take a bunch of them, so yeah. So much here, yeah, she's gonna unlock, get a rapier. I actually didn't get that rapier in my practice, and the main reason why was I ranked 13 items, because all the guides of this game say you want 13, so yeah, I kind of got a little bit screwed there, but that's okay. That was on me for not remembering that being a thing. Anyway, we're gonna take that short lunch. Let's talk about the Rapier though. Rapier is very interesting in this game. It's a C-rank sword with 4 might, 10 crit, 1 range, 90 hit, 3 weight, effective against calves and armors, and it's also not locked to lords. So yeah, it's actually pretty useful in this game because of that. So yeah, now Lippus is going to open this. Well, well, hey Princely, somebody's come to rescue us. Come on, let's make a break for it. Who in the world are they? Doesn't matter, save those questions for when we're far, far away from him. Look, there's a stairway to the north that leads out here. You go ahead, I'll give them, I'll give them soldiers what for they try to follow. What happens to you if I escape first? I start to get caught and thrown here again or worse. Don't matter to me none if I can get some good for I get a grad. I won't accept that, I'll only escape after everyone else has. Ha, you're gonna make me cry, Junior? Suppose I can keep your company for a time. If you need someone to hold your hand, that bad. Oh, who am I kidding? After hearing your story, I'm invested. 
you're more decent sort than you look, Fergus. Fall for me already, eh? Oh, please, I think that you must still be half asleep. Have you had your morning coffee yet, Grandpa? Alright, alright, lay off. Have you made up your mind about escape food? The mad tries head honcho is a fellow by the name of Set. Same name as the prince you're after, right? It's probably him, yeah, but right now, Prince Sleep is the only need to worry about. And besides, that guy with Ray Trick is using women as hostages, that's unforgivable. Any plan that gives me the chance to smash his face in is fine by me. You got the skill of the blade to back up them words, lass. I won't pretend I'm the best, but I'll give him my all. Hey, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't think so. Ah, oh, jeez, that's too good to call the couple now. Alright, we got two new units to talk about, Karen and Fergus. So yeah, I guess we'll start with Fergus then. So yeah, Fergus is a very interesting unit, and a very good one too, so yeah. He's a Sword Knight. Sword Knight's a pretty good class, because even when dismounted, uh, he still gets to use his primary weapon or sword, and he has less dismount penalties too, so yeah. That's obviously quite amazing. Fergus can even work pretty good indoors as well, so yeah. I didn't really talk about that yet, but yeah, mounted units get some stats dropped when they dismount, so yeah, that's something good to remember. Although, once again, <laughs> stat caps at 20, and also enemies don't have the best stats a lot, so most of the time it doesn't matter. But anyway, thinking about Fergus, his base stats aren't too bad actually. He's definitely one of the better combat units you have, and I think the main reason why is that SCM or PCC. He has the highest in the game at 5. Of course, other units have that too, but yeah, that's the highest possible you can get, and yeah, it's pretty amazing. It basically means that, yeah, on his follow-up attacks, his crit rate gets times by 5. And yeah, as you see there with the current support, which he does have, he already has a lot of crit on his second attack. It's gonna be like 85 on its own, so yeah. Give him any weapon as crit, like the Slim Soul Arabia, it gets to 100, which is obviously very amazing. Yeah, he's pretty good with that rapier you get in this map, so I recommend giving it to him. But anyway, yeah, of course, after the monster escape, he becomes a very good unit, being able to, you know, run around the battlefield on a horse, capture things pretty easily because he got a weapon that really helps with that. He is, I think, one of the best combat units out there, and it also helps that, yeah. Again, having a mount 2 is really useful in this game for specific things, so yeah. Very, very good unit, this guy, so yeah. We'll talk about his growth rates so anyway, before that, yeah. He also has a pretty decent promotion, um, range as it's now known as. Um, definitely better than what it was like in FE4, because the stat caps don't really um, mess with it anymore. So that obviously helps a lot. And of course, I think another thing I like about him too is his mutual support with Karen. He supports Karen and is supported by her, somehow. <laughs> you think that they hate each other, but apparently not, so yeah. And because the two work together so well, and I can sub both them good units, I think that's a plus. So we will go over growth rates now. 65 HP, 35 strength, 10 magic, 45 skill, 35 speed, 40 luck, 25 defense, 20 con, 1 movement. So yeah, very solid unit this one. Karen's also a sword unit too, although how I use her is very different from how most people use her. Karen normally is very much like Shanna actually, on FE6's hard mode. She's just a flyer who's not very good at combat, but because she flies, that's the reason to deploy her. Because yeah, she can obviously carry people around the battlefield, um, she can obviously help with capturing too, although yeah, she, she herself isn't great at capturing, but she can obviously, you know, dump off people's stuff, you know, so yeah, that's obviously something she can try to do. And yeah, that's um, the main things. Although one thing I'm not really doing is saying just how good flying is in this game. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of maps where yeah, flying is just really strong, and of course Karen can definitely help with that, especially if she's well trained. Normally, again, it's a bit difficult. Because, of course, she starts at level 1. Her base stats are alright, but she has bulk issues. The only really thing, good thing she has is that speed of luck, so yeah. And yeah, she has lots of swords, although that's actually not terrible. There is only one thing though. Just like the horse mounted units, she can't use swords while mounted. And actually, that's kind of a bad thing, because... Because if she could use both swords and lances mounted, yeah, she could use magic swords while flying around, which is very funny. Because her magic is good, because of course, she's a Pegasus Knight, doesn't normally have good res, but of course, because of, um... 
Because of the uh, magic being one star, it also means that magical damage is really good too. And she does have a decent magic group as well, so yeah. Anyway, PC of 1. Another thing that some people like to do with her if they want to train her is give her a lot of things. Skill manuals, for example, to teach skills to her. There's a lot of powerful options for her. Mainly Paragon and Wrath come to mind. And then, yeah, stat boosters. Like the leg ring, for example, giving her extra movement. Which, of course, is very amazing when, you know, you want to, you know, fly around, help, support, even capture sometimes, so yeah. So you are quite a door. Anyway, I'll go over the growth rates. 55 HP, 30 strength, 50 magic, 35 skill, semi speed, semi luck, 15 defense, 5 pawn, 2 movement. And a promotion's also pretty decent too. Getting a whole lot strength, 1 extra movement, and some pretty other, other pretty good stats, like a nice strength and magic and skill the speed boost. Those are maybe what she gets. And support capabilities aren't bad either. Of course, yeah, the Fergus support is great. And that's mainly it. She doesn't really get any other notable support, so yeah. So yeah, Karen, yeah, we're gonna see if we can make her work in this playthrough. Again, that's something I normally like to do, so yeah. So yeah, what we're gonna do now is, yeah, Brian has that short and and the Iron Sword to give to her. And yeah, we could do something similar with Fergus too, so yeah. And yeah what we want to do though is we want to get into this chess room, so yeah. And yeah, Lara, she can like play around here. So yeah, basically, how I like to play this map. This is not how you should play this map, by the way. Um, I like to stay here, kill the reinforcements, I get a lot of experience of Fergus and Karen. Again, you don't need to do that. People have figured out ways, you know, get through the game without needing to do something like that, but of course, it'll make my life a lot easier, so that's what we're going to do it. Hey, there's a javelin. That's on the other um, things. And yeah, I got... Uh, we'll sort the javelin. It's not useful at the moment anyway, so yeah, it's fine to do that. <laughs> but yeah, we really need to go trade that um, chest key over so we can get more items. But anyway, yeah, let's give her the iron sword and the short lance. And then your yeah, is gonna come in here. And yeah, it does mean that, yeah, we now have a unit who can defend ourselves, so yeah, that's good. Well, yeah, we kind of, you know, wait around here trying to get stuff. So, most likely, what's gonna happen is I'm probably gonna speed things up at some point. We're killing those reinforcements, so yeah. And I'll chime in with other things. I'm probably gonna take this up even slower than I did before, to be honest, so yeah. Yeah, let's go back to this reinforcements. Let's talk about how long they last. It's a while. We're talking, yeah, turn 7 to 20, a soldier could come out from the left staircase, aka this one. Turn 10 to 24, soldier from the right staircase, or the right side of the lower staircase, and then finally turn 8 to 60, a soldier may spawn from the left side of the lower staircase. So, yeah. If you deal with all of them, then yeah, you can get a decent experience. The main problem is weapon durability. It means that yeah, we might need to do some risky captures later, but I'm all for it. So yeah. So I mean, yeah, we're just gonna move Brighton a little bit. I might keep Karen around here to be honest. <laughs> Again, we need more weapons. Luckily though, I think Lifters is gonna get more weapons, so yeah. Like the sign sword. So there you go. And yeah, what you should be doing is yeah. Using Lara here a little bit. I should trade that scroll to be honest, but that's okay. There's the Brave Axe. Again, you don't really need to smuggle that in, but I want to see if we can do something funny potentially with that. Also, it could help Brian later as well, so yeah. And yeah, once again, I'll be a bit patient here. But yeah, we'll get all the chests. The other chests, I guess they can wait a little bit. <laughs> And yeah, these guys have got these armors, which I'm okay with as well. You can always use the rape it to get past them, so yeah. Well, like I said, we're kind of just waiting on the reinforcers. The reinforcers work in interesting ways too. I think sometimes they don't spawn if, yeah, there's too many soldiers on screen as well. And again, whether they spawn or not isn't guaranteed, so yeah, just keep that in mind as well. Sometimes they'll spawn, sometimes they don't, so yeah. Hey, and now much can go over here because we should trade a few things. So now, yeah, Fergus over here, he's going to go take the Iron Sword and probably the Slim Sword because he can crit with it and the Rapier and the Vaughn. 
So there you go. Uh, Brighton, you'll be fine. Because what I'll do here is yeah, you have a lot pick, so I'm going to take this, get that flame sword. There's another reason to train up Fergus too. You may notice he has 30 rank into swords with C rank. You can get the B rank if you use the flame sword, which is very nice actually. And now, yeah, I'm going to take everything from Laura so she can continue to catch bait for us. And we get another line. So there you go. And you're Brighton, and we'll see what we'll do with him. Karen, yeah, we'll see what we do with her as well. Because I want to give her the scroll. I'm going to see if we can open more chests. But of course, the main problem with that is, is that, yeah, reinforcement. So we'll try with that. We definitely need to give more stuff to our units. I mean, he isn't boring. <laughs> the rainbows will be a bit annoying for our uh, bees. That's one thing about that. Anyway, <laughs> these ringers are just doing their thing. Oh, yeah, by the way, another thing about the two. Yeah, that one died. Um, it doesn't matter if they survive. All that matters is the green civilians survive. We don't really care about these criminals, so yeah. <laughs> Doing a good job of getting past this armor for us, that's cool. Alright, so what turn are we on now? We're on turn 8, so reinforcements should be spawning soon. So, we need to do something about that. So, let's trade the sword to leaf. And. Oh, yeah, the Brave Axe is gone, leaf too. I think that'll be what we do. And then, yeah, Karen is actually going to take the scroll herself. And, yeah, she can also take the flame sword and the iron sword. So, yeah. So, there you go. And then, yeah, she's... Lara's going to come along as well. So, now Leaf can defend himself, which is good. Brighton. You can go here, I think. We'll stop those reinforced in their tracks, basically. And then, yeah, these two. And Marcha, she can also support... Brighton, so we'll obviously make use of that, and then yeah, we'll see what happens with Fergus. Because there come the reinforcements. And yeah, there's our first one down there. Anyway, you're gonna keep using your ball, right? <laughs> and yeah, you go out the leaf, that's fine. This is why I trained up leaf a lot. It basically means that yeah, he can survive <laughs> really easily, so yeah. We don't need to worry about his survivability too much. Anyway, see so, yeah, that happens <laughs> again. There's the uh, these brigands, yeah, it doesn't really matter what happens to them. Sometimes they even capture dudes too, which is kind of funny. So, yeah, a lot of these dudes also have boomerangs, these reinforcements. So, you can obviously think about stealing those with Lara. So, that's probably something I'm gonna be doing. Just that, yeah, if we don't, if we aren't able to kill this guy, then yeah, that could be a bit a yeah, bit of a problem. So, yeah. So, here's what we'll do. So, yeah, we'll steal this ordinary. And then, yeah, Fergus can probably take it, actually, to be honest. I wonder if I should fight with Karen right now. I think, yeah, what I'll do is. Um. I'll rescue Lara. And then, yeah, I'll trade the ordinary that she has. And then, yeah, I'll take her and drop her. Because, yeah, you're gonna go after Karen because Karen has lower bolt. So, yeah. So now, yeah, we're gonna go up here with Lithus. This guy actually doesn't move. So, yeah. He can obviously go get these. Which is very nice, of course, yeah. I mean, yeah, we actually did double his inventory, so that's good. Marcha can obviously help out Brian here. And then, yeah, Leaf can also get a little bit of action, too. He's already pretty good level. He doesn't really need to kill anything. Because again, we've basically already trained him for what he needs to do here, so yeah. It's mainly Fergus and Karen. But Brian could also be good too if you want to use him later, obviously. Same with Marcia, so yeah. So yeah, Leaf might just, you know, help out over here, so yeah. And then yeah, it could be Brian and Marcia who take over from here. And yes, we can watch. More important, so yeah. Once again, we're going to take this a bit slowly. That's... If, yeah, if you're worried about this sap, that's what I recommend doing. Don't worry about finishing the map quickly. Take your time, maybe kill some enemies for them. Um, 
Make also a useful EXP too to make your life easier later. As well. So anyway. Do take a bit though. But yeah, we can do a lot. We also got a lot of chips too, so yeah. There's another dude who yeah, we can <laughs> steal again. They got a lot of ordinary side of, so yeah. Yeah, I do need to be a bit careful though. Because yeah, I do think that yeah, um I need to check the damage, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that yeah, Karen does get two shot hit from that HP range. Because yeah, so we were talking eight and ten. So yeah, she definitely would. So you're gonna have to use up some more money anyway, but that's okay. Because I gotta steal another one. <laughs> yeah, this sort of not too bad. It's just that yeah, we can't do this forever because I'm pretty sure that a javelin dude is gonna come out from the other side, so yeah. So once again, we're gonna rescue, and we'll trade Bonry, I guess. And yeah, take drop. And yeah, Karen needs to use a Bonry here just in case. There you go, good. So yeah, now yeah, March, I can have some fun with Brian. And yeah, does Brian have a Bonry? No, I decide to take it off. So yeah. But luckily though, yeah, we're staying a lot of vulnerabilities, so yeah, uh, maybe this will work out. Let's see, we got the light brand for Leaf, good. Obviously he's the only one who can use it, so yeah. And yeah, with you, I'm a little bit worried about Marcha. If I do that, so yeah, it might actually be better if... Um... I've actually did this, that guy. I'll keep Marcha around here, it's just that, yeah, without vulnerability, I don't feel super confident. You always just steal from that guy, but yeah, we'll worry about that later. I mean, no reinforcements spawned this time. And all my brick. Oh, actually, no, only one was left, I mean. Yeah, they like to go out the marcher because she doesn't have the support, and she does take more damage, so yeah. So there you go. And that means, yeah, it's mainly better to use Brighton, so yeah, I might actually just relegate marcher to support duty. I mean, Karen gets a kill, awesome. To be honest, yeah, Karen is the one who needs the experience more. Fergus, I know that if I fight with him, he'll do just fine. But anyway, that's what I like to see. <laughs> that's my girl. Yeah, Karen is a Pegasus Knight I really like. I mean, that's a... If you've seen my playthroughs, you already know that I like to use Pegasus Knights. And not just because a lot of them are cute girls. <laughs> They're very strong units when trained. And yeah, she's very similar to Shanna, actually. Again, you don't normally train her up, because again, her combat isn't what she's like really good at. So yeah, and you can get a kill with Karen again to be honest. And she has the scroll, so I mean, you could also play. Now I think the cake into account is that bulk. They actually have the same bulk right now, so yeah. So I guess we'll see. Anyway, like I said, I think it's better for you to leave her. But I could give the... In fact, yeah, I could also do this. I'm probably gonna give that to, um, I'm probably gonna let, um, what am I trying to say, um, Brighton take that. I'll just let March get the kill. So do that. Okay. Yeah, like I said, let March get the kill for now. Again, if she levels up, she could obviously help out too, so yeah. They could also maybe share the ball between each other, so yeah. <laughs> There you go. But again, maybe it'll be smart up Leaf because Leaf does have better bulk, so yeah. Hey, Lara, once again, she could do her thing, I guess. <laughs> again, a Javelin dude does come out from, um, from over here, so yeah, that's obviously something I'm a bit worried about if I'm going to use Lara, so yeah. Let me look at that again. Let me look at my map again. So yeah, he comes turn 10 to 24, so yeah, we definitely want to be a little careful if he starts popping up, so yeah. It's also a bit annoying to kill him, because of course he has two range. And speak of the double, there he is, so yeah. And yeah, this brigand, <laughs> he's trying his best. And that's for dang sure, so yeah. And yeah, much of gameplay here. Can't even double. Something I have noticed is that, yeah, the enemies in Frasier, they got some pretty big stat variations, so yeah. Maybe that's another one. Well, the Karen. 
<laughs> Again, that name's a little bit awkward if you see a lot of memes, but yeah. Only HP that time, but hey, we'll take that, because the last level was pretty amazing. So, what's gonna happen here? Kill that guy, obviously. But yeah, these guys, yeah, it's gonna be very annoying to steal from them, so yeah. I might just, you know, let him chuck a javelin at one of these, and maybe it can steal from me, I guess we'll see. I feel like we need to team up and kill him is the problem, so yeah. Well, you know, we could just let, you know. Um, we could just let um, Fergus do his thing, because yeah, Fergus is very good at doing his thing, so yeah. <laughs> yeah let's try game more chess here. We got Vulnery, that's useful. And yeah, looks like yeah, the other scroll is going to be in here, but of course, Lithis can go run ahead and take that. Once these reinforcements on these sites are done for, then yeah, we can definitely rescue the Sippies. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, once these reinforcements are done on turn 20, then yeah, they're basically home free. Getting them normally is a bit difficult, but you can't block the reinforcements. That's how most people do this quick. So, yeah. So, anyway, yeah. Let's just speak here. Once again, we'll keep dealing with these reinforcements. Anyway, yeah, dude's going out to Brighton. Again, they have short lances, so yeah. They're not the hardest thing enemies in the world, so that obviously helps. And yeah, that one's gonna go for this. But again, I would prefer if Marcher gets this EXP instead, but it's fine. Because having more combat units, having more numbers in general, would be quite useful, but hey. I'll take some extra EXP on Leaf. He also has that one extra movement that he got last time as well, so yeah. And he actually went out the Fergus, interesting enough. And yeah, I'll have Fergus be the one to... I mean, maybe not. The only problem is that, yeah, if I do this, he'll javelin um, Lara, which I don't like, but... Again, yeah, I really shouldn't steal from these guys, instead I should kill these guys. <laughs> we'll use the Slim Sword this time to go for that guaranteed critical. I don't know if the skills are not, but I guess we'll see. I probably should actually you know, check, but anyway. Yep, it doesn't. Hey, maybe Karen can get the kill now. He dodged too, which is nice. Yeah, the problem is, if he doesn't get his strength up, then yeah, it doesn't really... The Simmersault isn't really a good weapon to use. Same with the Rapier, unless it's effective, because once it does do that effective damage, then yeah, it's actually pretty solid. And there we go. Not bad. So yeah. So here, yeah, Brighton, he can take a little bit more punishment. We can heal him next turn, I think. There you go. And yeah, definitely make use of your support, sir. Very useful. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, you, sh you should always make use of your... Um, ah, there's the scroll. That's good. Because, of course, I want to give that to Karen, because we're leveling up Karen a lot, so yeah. At the moment. Then after that, we could give it to Fergus, too. So yeah, that's obviously something I'm thinking about, so yeah. Anyway... Anyway, you know what, also much, uh, she does need a Vulnery, so I'll give it that. The armor set would like on Leaf, so yeah, we can obviously do that as well. And the Life Run, so there you go. Any problem is when reinforcers come out here, because then, yeah, it's a bit difficult for Lippus. So... And I... and those end on turn 24, so yeah. Once that's done, then yeah, we could think about going up these shirts. Anyway, yeah, Leaf will be fine. He's got a lot of bulk on his side, and Lara, yeah, she could try steam more things. But yeah, it's not super necessary. And yeah, there come those reinforcements, so yeah. Obviously, yeah, if we're gonna go after them with. <laughs> if we're gonna go after those chests, we need to be a bit careful with Lithus. Anyway, now you one shot, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I mean, it's not bad, but. It could put him in more danger. Hey, you look at the fence, but that definitely helps. And yeah, the other one wants to go for him. Because he is getting a bit close. Anyway, no doubling, but that's okay. Hey, you wanna <laughs> get the kill? I think, yeah, once they've done their thing, then they like to retreat, so yeah. But yeah, I'm not gonna risk this anymore with Brighton. Let's use a Vulnery. Okay, we're getting a lot of Vulneries anyway, so... We can afford to make use of them, so yeah. Again, Lippus. Lippus, Lippus, Lippus. Yeah, he wants to go give that scroll 
to Karen and Fergus, so yeah. And once again, I'll be a little bit careful, Laura, so yeah. This is basically what we're going to be doing for a little bit. Yeah, more impulses has come out here. So anyway, I guess I'll talk about some other random things about this game, so yeah. Again, last time I mentioned that, yeah, this is considered very difficult. Um, yeah, probably one of the most difficult sections in any final game, again. The main reason why is, again, you kind of, yeah, you're stuck with units that, yeah, you just got, basically. So, that can obviously be a bit difficult to work with, so yeah. Anyway, now we're gonna do this. And of course, yeah, normally, yeah, you don't normally level up this quickly, so yeah. That obviously also makes things a lot harder on yourself as well, so yeah. Hey, we'll just let that soldier do whatever you want. These two are doing just fine, so yeah. But again, yeah, basically, yeah, the idea is that, yeah, you don't have many options. And yeah, you're kind of working with a kind of new squad unit. Yeah. So again, they can, they're designed to do at least alright, but again, it's definitely up to the player to make up a lot of the distance too, so yeah. And of course, yeah, Paragon Mode helps a lot here because, yeah, we are getting a lot more EXP out of these guys. So anyway. That was an alright level up. And yeah, now they're starting to go with the Fergus, which is cool. Again, Fergus is some pretty decent group, right? You can also crit with the Sim Sword, so that's funny. This looks like we're going to be getting some decent kills. Yeah, he just escapes. So yeah, that guy's probably going to go out the Brian Leap again. So yeah. That's fine. And now your Lepers can try to get the other chests. But again, it might be a little difficult for him. And then, yeah, we do have both scrolls now, so that's good. And yeah, I'm actually going to trade that Flame Sword to you. That should work out just fine now. And yeah, I might go for the kill here as well. So, like I said, we're basically just trying to get a lot of the XP here. There you go. And again, this just makes Kablame this chapter a lot easier later on as well, but anyway. I'll keep going for the Slim's so Again, I don't think the Slim's all that good, to be honest. Again, it just doesn't have enough grunt. But the crit rate is definitely nice, so yeah. I'm definitely gonna. I definitely feel happier using the um, Iron Sword, basically. So yeah. Saying so, yeah, this guy and this guy. So yeah. Again, we can think about stealing maybe later. But I guess we'll see. But yeah, I was talking about the difficulty. Yeah, again. And also, yeah, some of these maps aren't easy either. They do definitely give you some difficult scenarios, but definitely require a lot of thinking. And maybe past experience too to get past, so yeah. That's another reason why. Like, yeah, this map, yeah, the end of this map is a very good example of that, so yeah. And it's one reason why we are training up these units. A double crit does do enough. Because, yeah, he's basically got max critical. Because the critical chance of the first hit is cut to 25. Something I kind of hinted at before, but I don't know if I went fully into, so yeah. I mean, that's alright. Alright, that's not too bad. Because, yeah, because we didn't kill this guy, we can actually, you know, once again do the funny, um, steal the Von Ring. There you go, and now, uh, yeah, we can go for... I just realized that, yeah, I do need, um, more units, so yeah, that's what Lithus has to do here. But that's fine. So, yeah, you can do this. Because, yeah, we don't really have... Once again, I'm not being too confident about Marcha here, so yeah. Because in Marcha, we need to support Brian, obviously. So what turn is it now? Turn 17. So we're actually getting that on these reinforcements on the staircase. So, again, if I do Vulnerary Marcha up, she could have some fun, to be honest. But yeah, uh, again, though, I think I'm just going to let Leaf do his thing. If the out of these two, yeah, I feel like Brighton is the one I want to give more XP to, so yeah. It's fine. And again, these two, yeah, they need a lot of XP for what I need them to do, so yeah. So this will this will work. So yeah, back to the dub again. So um 
Because yeah, there's something else that's quite interesting about it too, when I was, you know, doing research for this playthrough. So yeah. Alright, that's fine. Hopefully we get the kill. So what are we leveling up? More HP and speed. I guess that works. I guess more HP is definitely very nice when you don't have much defense, I guess. So yeah. So once again, we can do a funny steal her. Actually, we already took it, so yeah, never mind. So yeah, I think we'll go for the kill here. Well, you know, we could play it safe and vulnerable. That's obviously his smart too, but yeah. I think we can get this. There we go, we don't have a scoop. Once again, get a lot of easy. So yeah. Again, you have these difficult scenarios and stuff to talk about. So yeah, one thing that people are theorizing is why is this game so hard? So, yeah, one theory I've heard is that it was made hard on purpose so that Kaka could sell more guidebooks for this game. And yeah, that kind of makes a decent amount of sense. As again, this game didn't sell very well at all. So, yeah, it makes sense that, yeah, he, that might have been the case. But yeah, there's a traveling dude, so we need to be careful of him. I'm just going on the leaf, so you have one shot. Or took it out, I mean. So you go. And yeah, we get down for you think about rescuing those sippies in a bit, but yeah, you want to go off the Fergus now. So yeah, I might vulnerate him in a bit. Maybe already with both of these to be honest, I guess we'll see. Yeah, that seems like a smart thing to do now, so yeah. So we won't think about the stealing just yet. And yeah, we also got Chavez to do with two, which isn't great. And yeah, that definitely hurts. Giving Vulnerary Seal to full in this game, that obviously really helps. So anyway, what turn is it now? 10-19. So these guys will stop coming very soon, so yeah. So after that, yeah, I'll have like, Leaf help out with the <laughs> risk in here, I guess. And yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna take... I mean, this is a big risk anyway, but yeah. Again, the guidebook thing, yeah, that makes a lot of sense in my mind. Because again, the difficulty of this game again, a lot of people like to say it's Nintendo hard. Where, yeah, again, it's basically a, like kind of a guide thing, kind of difficulty. Say there's that. So... I do want to trade these vulnerabilities, but the problem is, is that, yeah, um... I want to trade these vulnerabilities, but yeah, these two aren't what I call bulky units, so this javelin could definitely hurt a bit, so yeah. I wonder if I just use the volume of Marcher, and then I could get Leaf on the move. I think that's what I'm actually going to do. So yeah, Leaf is going to take that Vulnery. And we can give it to those two. So yeah, now yeah, like I said, she can use the Vulnery. Like so. She has the Armour Sir. I think I want to give that to Leaf. But I guess we'll see, because yeah, he has the Raper, that can be his armor saying weapon. And yeah, we'll just, you know, keep waiting up. That should be the last reinforcement coming out from there. Yeah, we got a lot to deal with. Oh, he uses Vulnery, that's fine, I guess. But yeah, I want to say the AI, the AI is definitely not as self-preservation based as the Telius games, that's what I'm sure. And he actually went for Brain. Interestingly enough, I guess it's going to be another Brain kill. He's done doing alright, so yeah, I guess I'm fine with that. Anyway, they actually want to go for Fergus now. So yeah, I might want to give him a scroll so he can level up better, but I guess we'll see. But hey, that's a very good level up, so I won't complain. <laughs> so what we got here, once again, yeah, they actually want to go after Fergus, so yeah. I do wonder if it has something to do with that some sort he has. <laughs> Uh, again, they both need EXP. Fergus also wants weapon EXP too, so yeah. So anyway, and yeah, it doesn't matter what you use for weapon EXP as well, so yeah. Hey, is there anything else I need to say about this? I don't think there is. So yeah, I might actually start speeding up now. But anyway, another good level up. And I'll chime in if anything interesting happens, I think, as well. Because yeah, now, yeah, I think we're just gonna kind of wait until turn 60. But yeah, one thing I will be doing now is, yeah, I think now Lithus is going to go, because yeah, what time is it again? 
it's turn 20, so that means these reinforcers are going to be done, so yeah. That means that, yeah, now we can start risking the civvies. So I'll be working on that right now, so yeah, let me go ahead and do that. As Brian gets level up, up. Level 8's not bad, speed's not bad either, so yeah, he's doing alright. And yeah, yeah, like I said, Lippers, he's gonna go risky the civvies now, so that's cool. But anyway, like I said, I think I'm just gonna speed up now, these reinforcers are gonna keep coming, and then yeah, these, this javelin dude's gonna keep deploying me, so yeah. <laughs> I could also go for a steel here, maybe. But again, the javelin dude's gonna make that complicated, so I'm not gonna bother. So, yeah, instead, we'll try again, working up. Somebody's come for us, we got ourselves a real chance now. If I remember right, there's a patch to the surface just west of here. Thousand thanks upon you, Machi. Everybody make a break for the stairway east of here. So yeah, the reinforcements ended here on turn 24, so yeah. The only reinforcement that left is this guy here, so yeah. So that should be fine then. And yeah, once again, rescue every civilian. You really want to go to the next guy to map, that's for dang sure, so yeah.
Alrighty, so yeah, we're back. So here's how we're looking. So Karen, um, she held up alright. I was kind of hoping for more strength, but that's okay. I guess, yeah, because of that, we could consider, you know, keeping these scrolls in her, but I guess we'll see for the next time. But I guess, though, he did very well for himself. So yeah, stats looking good, pretty decent bulk, pretty decent power as well. And we have the flame sword because of what we're going to be doing now. So yeah, we got the big room coming up. This is a bit tricky, so... So yeah, we want to focus a little bit closer, so yeah. Before we head in. I think, yeah, something like this could work. Yeah, so how you do this? You want to open the door and then you want to rescue with um, someone so you can get the thieves out of range. Whoever that may be. I'm going to use Laura for this. Here you go. So yeah, this is, yeah, definitely very scary stuff. Oh yeah, so how do I want to proceed her? Is it going to think? Yeah, we can... I think is there something I could do here? Let me make this a bit easier. I guess we'll see. Anyway, I think I want to go like one space more forward, but it's okay. Because you know what? You kind of want is your leaf, um, Liz and Dolson here. Because your Dolson, of course. He's a bit important, so yeah, that's okay. Because one thing we can do is, yeah, we can use Fergus over here with the Flame Sword, because yeah, a lot of these guys have range weapons, so yeah, there's a Battle Axe. Oh yeah, because that's a Battle Axe, um, yeah, you want to protect yourself from crits, so yeah, we should definitely give um, the scroll to Fergus, maybe both scrolls actually. I think that's what I will do. So yeah, I'll give him the boulder scroll and I'll give him the um, other scroll. The one that gives HP, so yeah. I think, yeah, something like this could work. Again, I don't think Leaf is in a very good position, but I guess we'll see. Because the next time could get a little bit hairy, but I guess we'll find out. Hey, yeah, Balax, yeah, again, it has a little bit of crit on it, so yeah, I don't think they want to take my chances. And with the fire sword, yeah, we should be able to, yeah, do a bit of range combat here. Problem is that, yeah, we have a lot of armors in our face, and I really don't like that, so yeah. And you make sure you have your supports in range too, so yeah. There you go. Very nice. Okay, though, yeah, Fergus is doing a very good job clearing these guys out. Yeah, this is probably one of the more trickier parts in the game, especially, yeah. Um on normal because yeah your focus won't be as strong as mine most likely so yeah unless you uh you really go all out and give any of the xp which yeah, i can obviously see some people doing anyway yeah all we need to do now is i think this will do leaf is decently bulky so i'll give him the light brand not use it equip it and then we'll talk to dawson what the empire tried to take me on kin in the damn child huts I, I was only going along with them because they promised my family would be spared. Tuh, damn Rage Rick and damn the Empire. I don't love left for any of them. I defend. My life is in your hands. Apparently, um, Lippus can also do that, which is interesting. Anyway. So we got, um, Dolson now, who's a very funny unit. We'll talk about it in a bit. First, I want to make sure we get out of his seat. So, alright. What are we going to do then? So yeah, once again, does Fergus keep, you know, doing the fire sword thing? Maybe. Because, mm, you know what, I'm actually going to do something a bit weird. I'm going to go Rapier. I'll keep Karen where she is, because I have a lot of faith in Karen's book as well. And yeah, I think that's all I'll do. I could definitely bond right because I have a lot of them now, so yeah. <laughs> I'll keep Lippis there. Because you live in stone range, and then potentially yeah, we could take um, one of these um, poems for ourselves. I think the main problem is if Leaf gets crept, because I didn't give him a scroll, so I guess we'll see how that works out. Alright, let's try this. This could be a this could backfire. I can have see this potentially backfiring, but I guess we'll see. Anyway, we do dodge that. We do have a lot of void, because again, the rapier, again, it's very light. And your burgers, yeah. We did give him the scrolls, so yeah, that obviously helped him out. Here's a short bow on Karen, which does hurt a bit. 
So we can definitely try to use the rig a little bit now. This, I'm definitely worried about. Actually, no. But yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, maybe I really should have used um, the... Maybe I should have used my fire sword if that's okay. i wondering how we could proceed coming, going forward this time. Is there one thing I probably, yeah, again, not learning endorsement meant that yeah, I couldn't give him the Brevax because he can use that. It's decently useful for him to do that, so yeah. Anyway, anyway, Leaf is definitely taking these hits like a champ, so that's good. But yeah, most um your units on like hard mode, yeah, they're not going to have this kind of bulk that my units have, so yeah. That's for dang sure. Yeah, he is a mage. These mages are very annoying, but you can steal the tomes, which is quite useful. And yeah, um, it does, you know, basically eliminate them, and also, yeah, means that um, <clears throat> you basically eliminate them, and then, yeah, definitely makes things a lot easier. You can also get an extra weapon, too. That's obviously nice. We are about to get a mage unit. And yeah, it looks like they're all gonna just go down. That's fine. I think we're basically in the clear with this, so that's good. He has yeah, leave with the light friends not doing too badly. He does actually just strip kill these mages, so yeah. I say this what this play worked out decently well. But anyway. And yeah, that kinda goes to the chapter as a whole, to be honest, so yeah. But we do have one more Nima cat to go over in a bit here. We now need to escape. Hey, okay, those are healers, but the good thing about them is they're unarmed, so they're free um they are free heal stars, and that's obviously amazing. So yeah. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. So we have an armor set and a rapier. So yeah, let's use the rapier here. And yeah, that actually does kill, so that's good. Definitely kills, there you go. And now Leaf is going to do his thing now. So yeah, he's gonna go for the armor slayer. And yeah, that's a one shot, he doubles two. Looks pretty decent to me. And yeah, maybe Karen uses the Rapier because I think she did get C rank. Of course, Fergus got B rank. That's why he's using the Flame Sword. And yeah, Karen, yeah, she did get C rank, so she can use the Rapier, although I don't think she's strong enough. So yeah. What does this guy have? There's a Chaplain, alright. So how much damage are we taking from this guy? Only 8. So you know what? Maybe this could work. I'll take back my scrolls and I'll take this Rapier. So I'll give him the steel sword, and I guess the iron sword, so then I can take both these. There you go. Now can we use the reaper? Uh, we do five. That's not great, but we'll do it. We actually could crit as well. Like so. And that's it. <laughs> We're basically done with this one now. And Karen almost gets a level up too. You can't have really just kill these guys too, but yeah, it's probably better to capture them. Although yeah, Lippus can obviously steal too, he has enough build, so yeah. But anyway, with that done, yeah, let's talk a little about Delson while we wrap up this map. So yeah, let's take the Brave Axe and probably the Vulnerys, at least one of them. You can take another Vulnery because we are swarming them, thanks to what Lara is able to do. Anyway, yeah. Let's have a quick look at his stats while I wrap things up here. Again, he's an armor knight. Now, the thing is, though, most people don't really like using him, and there's definitely some good reasons why. Um, again, he's an armor, and that's one of the main reasons why. Low mobility is one thing, but also there's a lot of weapons in this game that do well against armors. A lot of enemies like to have armor same weapons, like hammers, Armor Slayers and Rapiers, so that can be very dangerous, especially considering he is vulnerable to being doubled by a lot of those weapons. And another thing too is that, yeah, he doesn't feel the nicest to use sometimes. And the main reason why is because he just can't really... he has accuracy issues, basically. Of course, he can never remedy that, because he does have... he can get support by Leaf. And he can obviously, you know, there's a scroll later that gives plus faith to his skill. And his skill is actually not bad. It's just that, yeah, at this point in time, he can only really use the Brave Axe. He does come with a Bell Axe, though, which is interesting. 30 Might, 10 Crit, 60 Hit, 1 Range, 14 Might. You can use that without penalty, but yeah, again, the Brave Axe is extra accuracy, and the double attacks are just way better for him. So yeah, 
He's a more funnier than anything because he's actually not too bad indoors. Again, his movement's not great, but then again, most units don't have great movement indoors. And he can use Lancers indoor for all that sort when he promotes. He has E rank in the bar, uh, don't tell, don't tell him that I said that, so yeah. <laughs> so again, that's just some funny things about him. Of course, thanks to scrolls, you can definitely make him into a super general when he promotes. By, you know, fix up all his weaker stats, like his speed and stuff, so you can obviously have some fun with that. And then, of course, his good stats aren't too bad, like his, well, HP and strength. 60 HP, 50 strength, 5 magic, 40 skill, 25 speed, 25 luck, 20 defense, 25 con, 2 movement. He has good base defense, but his defense group isn't actually that good. That seems weird, but that is kind of how Karka designed armored units before, so yeah. Second, he's a very strange unit. He doesn't come in any skills either. It's just that, yeah, again, he might be able to capture things. It's just that, again, his accuracy leaves a lot to be decided is the problem, so yeah. Same way, yeah. Um, hey, I'm definitely gonna get that rapier back. Like this. And I might just give uh, the iron sword I gave, so there you go. Not bad. So yeah, he also got a lot of chess keys. I'm thinking if yeah, I I'd give these to someone because yeah, we have the next. Uh, maybe um, Fergus could take the chess key. I have March keep the other one. There you go. Yeah, Karen's about to get level up, so I might just yeah end up stealing one of these. Unfortunately, you're not good enough at that. Lippus can afford to do that, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna let him do that. Because, yeah, and yeah, Leaf can actually do that right now, so I'm gonna do that. I keep saying do that, but anyway. <laughs> and these guys don't have that much cons, so yeah, you can definitely just, you know, risk them. So now I'm gonna take his heal stuff with Lippus. Yeah, Lippus is about to get a little up, that's cool. And yeah, like I said, um, I could do this, but I, I don't think that's why, so I'm just gonna actually take him out. Again, get a little bit of extra heat speed. And yeah, I guess one thing about Dawson, yeah, his perfect games are good. He gets all three weapon types, which is nice. The only problem is everything but his axe strength is going to be E. But his perfect games are definitely good, so if you do stick it out with him, he can do just fine. I mean, Karen, yeah, she leveled up alright. It's just that, yeah, I kind of wish he did get more strength, but that's okay. We can always see, worry about that later. So now I'm going to do this, actually. And then you have Dolson, he is going to take the heal stuff from at least, so yeah. There you go. So now time for another new mechanic. Escaping. So yeah. This is the main other um, objective in a pretty map. You need to escape the maps. And yeah, as the dialogue suggested earlier, we don't want to leave with Leaf Blast because anyone else is going to be left behind. So yeah. Anyway, let's look at some items. I think we're fine with items, so yeah. Next up's also a bit of a rough one, but yeah, with Karen being well trained, like 30 HP and 5 defense, that's not bad. And you have 31 8, that's good. And you have 39 8, so yeah, we should have enough bulky units for the next up. And again, I think I'll have a quick look at inventory, so I think we'll be fine on weaponry, so yeah. He also have a lot of vulnerabilities to use too, so that obviously helps, so yeah. Alright. So yeah, let's show this. Hey, everyone gets um, their own escape coat. Sorry to duck out like this, watch your back, okay? And yeah, we'll just escape with Brian now. Brian did alright. Damn shape of me going ahead of everybody like this. Now we're gonna escape with Macho. I owe you one. I'll be just up ahead. And now we're going to be escaping with Fergus. Ah, oh, how times have changed. I should be the last man, not any of you all. There you go. Now we're going to escape with Lippus. <laughs> Another clean go away, my regards, gentlemen. Karen, yeah, she doesn't have enough movement, but that's okay, we'll escape next time with her. Let's go with Dawson. Yeah, no, you bell. I'll make it back on Sunday, wait for me. Alright.
And now, uh, yeah, we skip the current. <laughs> Looks like I made out of here somewhere. Alright, I'll go ahead, Lee's first. Or well, Lee's last in this case. Like, that should be everyone. You can tell because your yeah, Lee Summy will be one. Yeah, 72 turns. Yep. <laughs> That's just how I like to play this stuff. Again, I like to take it slow and steady so things get a bit easier in the next couple of maps. Anyway, yeah, that'll be it. We got all the chests. Yeah, you get either the Steel Sword, Javelin, Bullring, Rapier. Any of the Rapier is actually very nice, so yeah, I'll definitely take that. Um, and yeah, we rescue everyone, got a lot of units. Let's get out of here now. And yeah, leave you, yeah, you should be fine. But, we have this. This is a pretty interesting cutscene, because here we got a lot of important villains in FE4. And these statues, and people theorize that these statues are FE4 characters, actually, so yeah. Like, I think bottom left looks like Tail 2, and then bottom or top right is as Azel, so yeah, that's interesting. Build, how go your preparations here? I think actually, uh, I think top left is Ira, and then I think bottom right might be Lex. I think that's just my guesses. Anyway, that dude on the left, that is Manfroy. One of the main villains in FE4, and he's talking to Veld. Veld, how go your preparations, sir? Smoothly, Archbishop Manfroy. Some of the citizens man meek resistance, but their children are harvested all the same. Splendid, then Tara's the only say not under our influence. If they remain disagreeable, make an example of them. Burn the city and its people. Show monster to the Empire does not tolerate resistance. It would be done, your eminence, but the generals of House Street seem to have lost their nerve. They surround the city, but have yet to act. And here, here's Ishtar. Princess Ishtar, your father appears to be openly defiant of the direct orders of the crown. Surely you have an explanation for this lack of resolve. My father has been placed in a difficult position. Many of our own, as well as the clergy, are vehemently opposed to the practice of child hunts. My own brothers are under this dissidents, and I stand with them. Archers and Manfrey, on behalf of my family, I must ask they stop this shepherd tree. I've not been children to you and to lift the sword, separating them from their families. It's simply un unconsciousable. But you don't stop there, do you? No, you take that these innocent souls and sacrifice them to your dark gold. Have you no shame? You star, my beloved, there's been a terrible misunderstanding. Never would I condone the slaw of children. Do you truly believe me capable of such a thing? I merely wanted to be trained and educated, sculpted to the adults worthy to inhabit the Empire. The ones who survive our reckless chain will become a new kind of ruling class, one that will govern all others of common birth. Consider it, these children of peasants are given a chance to earn the even happiness for themselves. At what cost? They compete against each other, learn to hate each other, struggle to survive without their families. You dare call that happiness? Ah, my dear, you'll understand my wisdom. Your Baruch's wisdom one day, I'm sure. Say, there's a beautiful bed of flowers just out back. Let's take in the view together, Ishtar. Or Julius. That seems interesting. I mean, we already knew that, yeah. If you played FE4, you already know that, yeah, Ishtar is against the child hunt because of what she tries to do, but yeah. Though know it's interesting to see, I guess. But... Yeah, that was a pretty long map, probably going to be a very long episode too, because again, I like tickets, so... Next up will be a similar deal. Again, there's reinforcements, but I might actually fight the reinforcements again to make things easier on the next couple of maps. Again, we'll see. Next time, 4x. So you might be getting... What, maybe we'll get some of the best combat units in the game, so... Yeah, that's going to be interesting, and it's also going to be Battle Fork of War, because of kind of maps, so yeah. So I look forward to that, and I'll see you guys again for that.